Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Richard Free Attack with 1,778 rating versus Flavio Palumbo with 1,419 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right in. So we're going to see a tie, another tie, and then Flavio wins the rock, paper, scissors shoot, so he gets to decide. And then we're going to see 40 versus 45. Opening hand is droplet, calling, terraforming, called by droplet. So, can't really tell what this deck is yet. Kind of looks like just Numeron. And then he has Desires, Chuchi, Gamma, Lulu, Nian. So if he was going second, he'd have a high impact hand trap. He's going to activate Desires, banish 10. And then draw into, oh, Kieran City. Oh, his hand's crazy. Looking at the banishes, though. We see the Sean Wu get banished. The Chuchi, the other Chuchi's in hand. So no traps in deck right now. If he's on, like, a normal list. Normal summon, and then Kieran effect. And then that'll send Qinglong from deck to grave, bring itself out. And then Qinglong to add Roshi. And then discard Gamma. And then use Lulu effect. And then that'll send Qinglong, bring itself out. And then doesn't search anything because he just has no traps. Yeah, I didn't add anything off the Lulu. Go for Stardust, and then get that effect to draw, draws Ash. And then Roshi effect. Send City, bring itself out, and then bring out Lulu. I can't wait for next format. Like, usually they drop the ban list like a few days before. This time, they're just... I don't know. I just want the ban list to drop already. I just, I just don't want to play against VFD anymore. It's been like a year straight at this point. Then he's going to bring out Neon. Then get rid of those for Croc. He's going to get those effects. Draw 2-2 two, two, and then shuffle back Chuchi. Well, I'm actually going to see what he shuffled back. Could have shuffled back anything. Yeah, shuffles back to Sean Wu. Had to be one of the traps. And then go in the Shen Shen, overlay, make VFD, set Chuchi, and then pass, draw Scarlet. It's gonna go VFD effect, call light, then chain droplet to negate, and then chain Chuchi to pop VFD to dodge it. Droplet is just. Not that crazy versus this. It can be crazy if you have like a trap to discard off of it. It's gonna terraforming, chain ash, chain called by, and then that's gonna add network. Then use network, and then that's gonna make a Zexel. Obviously can't attack because of VFD. And then set Scarlet, Droplet. Pass play, draw Neon, and then Zexel effect and standby, or draw phase. Normal summon and then overlay those into an M7, battle phase attack, and then it's going to end up using droplets. Getting rid of network to negate that. And then end phase Scarlet, bring out Lord. This is looking like game I mean this is really good for him oh my draws red eyes fusion yeah that's game bring out dragoon so virtual world lost after going first I'm not too sure that he played that outright like I'd have to like go back and look at it but fairly certain he could have played that differently Going on to the next game, we're going to see Virtual World go first again. Opening hand is Numeron Wall, Imperm, Strike, Droplet, Red Eyes, Fusion. So, it's an interesting hand. It's definitely not bad. 
And then he has Talon, City, Nian, GG, GG. So this hand's good. It's going to start off by using City, bring out Chuchi, and then use GG effect. That'll send Qinglong, bring itself out, and then Qinglong effect, add Lulu, and then discard Nian, and then Lulu effect. It'll send Qinglong, add Roshi, and bring itself out. And then Nian, bring itself out. It's going to get rid of those for Stardust, Effect, get a free draw, draws an Ash. Oh, that's an incredible Ash. And then go into a Shen Shen. And then use Roshi Effect. That's going to send Sean Wu, bring itself out. And then bring out the GG from Graveyard. Get rid of those for Croc. Croc to draw in the Talons. Then make VFD. And then end phase, add back Lulu off GG, pass turn, draw Ash. It's gonna have VFD effect, chaining droplet to negate, and then red eyes fusion, chain Ash. And he's thinking he's gonna set strike, pass turn, draw Lulu. And then Qinglong to add 2 2. And discard Talons. And then normal summon 2-2. Two, two, activate Lulu effect. It's going to Ash that. So now Talons is live. It's going to Shen Shen. Bring itself out. And then switch to attack. Activate GG effect. It's going to send Nian. Bring itself out. And then poke for a thousand. And then Numeron wall effect. Bring itself out. And then main phase 2, he's going to use Talons, because uh, the Ash was used in main phase this turn, to draw Desire City. Not really that good. Uh, Desires. Draw into Neon Talons. And then those get banished, because Shen Shen... going to pass turn then draw a numeron wall pass turn end phase chuchi to pop the numeron wall draw desires battle phase attack and then it's gonna take it drop numeron wall uh I'm curious how long it took him to say that. I don't, I don't know. I don't think he was trying to do it, like, in a bad way. Like, I don't think he was trying to wait until after this. Maybe he was, though. I don't know. It did take him a little bit, but I wouldn't call him out on it. Not on... DB, pass turn, draw Nib, pass turn, draw Neon, yeah, this is definitely a game. Switch everything to attack, beat over, and then he admits defeat. So now moving on to game three, we're going to see Richard go first. Opening hand is Numeron Wall, Red Eyes Insight, Droplet, Calling, and Cursed. So this is definitely solid, has like... The Numeron package plus the Eldritch package. And then he has Qinglong, Talons, Gamma, Talons, Ash. Oh, this hand's horrible. Yeah, absolutely horrible. Oh, yeah, it's going to say you definitely don't want to curse first. You got a Numeron wall first. It's crazy because I think the last Eldritch Numeron player we had on the channel did the exact same thing game three. It's going to activate... And then Cursed, pay 8, feel great, add Conquistador, and then Network Effect. Just going to bring them out and then stack them for Zexel. Then Red Eyes Insight, dump Wyvern, add Fusion. And then Set Droplet, Conquistador Pass, draw Kieran. You obviously don't want to like... Stand by, use this, and just get hit by Gamma. And then you only have this as an interruption. 
Can't use Kieran effects. It's gonna let those send and then bring out Kieran. And then on summon Zexel effect. It says okay. We well, said K and then said chain. I said no, you don't chain because you said K. I said K for the effect, but no problem. Well, I mean, if you say the effect is okay, like, that, I don't even know. What he just said makes no sense at all. Not even a little bit. Yeah, see, so it even took him a while. Yeah, I definitely would not let him like take that back. Is he? I don't. Even, I don't even know what, how is he. Yeah, I was gonna say I was using talents under Zexel. Draw Lancia. This game is beyond over at this point. Curse, pay eight, feel great, add Lord, then Red Eyes Fusion, Chain Ash Blossom. Then Lord Effects send Curse, Curse send Wakero, Zexel beat over Kieran. Then Wakero set Scarlet. Pass play draws Desires. Zexel effect. And then Chain Gamma. Then also drop the Lancia on standby or draw phase. gonna attack so that's going to prompt Scarlet to bring out Lord and then pass turn use Conquistador bring itself out he's thinking if he wants to pop or not I mean these are gonna stay on board because of Lancia so he could leave both of these on board not pop and then Dragoon Draw cursed, cause that that's game. Yeah, it goes into Imdunk and then make Anaconda, Lord bring itself out, and then bring out Dragoon, pop, and then game. GG's. That was a a good match besides like the end there where he wanted the chain and he just didn't. Uh overall uh, it's it's kind of like cool to see this deck. I like seeing it, but I hate playing against this deck. I really dislike playing against decks like this. I can't believe people still think like Dragoon and Zexel are gonna get banned. Like, can you name a meta deck that Dragoon's being played in? Or Zexel? No. These these cards are just like really really good against like other like non-meta decks which is why like a lot of people want to ban which i can kind of get but i don't think they'll ban this at least not for a long time imagine instead of banning dragoon they just banned dark magician uh but the match was about 40 minutes long not bad at all uh again like in real life, I can't wait till we start getting some real life gameplay. Can't wait for tournaments to come back. Like, YCS matches will be so much better to like commentate over than like DB matches, just because like they use like you know time rules and stuff. Uh, these aren't bad, but it's not nearly as good as like real life uh, like time rules and everything. But this does like look better. Um. Uh, I, I really dislike this deck. I think there's just so many better decks. I don't know. The Elder stuff just doesn't fit right in this deck. It doesn't feel like... It takes too long to do anything. I also have like always thought the Eldritch engine is pretty poor compared to other decks. But that's just my opinion. Uh, I, I just think uh, the cards are too slow for the meta game. Um, even like since they came out... I think, like, the first, like, couple days they were out before people started playing Rock, uh, Eldish was good. But then people started playing Rock, and Combo beats Traps a lot, uh, especially, like, post-side deck. 
but that's why a lot of people like took out the traps like Paulo took out the traps for hand traps uh, that approach is definitely good like that's what I used to do in my alter guys deck uh, I played like I think it was like 15 hand traps or something because you just don't want to lose the side decks but overall uh, that's going to be it for the video today's only going to be a single upload day just because I don't have any more replays uh I haven't been trying super hard for replays the last few days because I thought a ban list was coming and now uh, now I just don't have replays. Uh, I thought the ban list would have came a few days ago, uh, which really sucks. Um, I really hope the ban list comes soon. I, I hope they don't wait like another month or something. Like Nobody wants to play against VFD anymore. I can guarantee you that. Uh, some people are saying hit VFD to 1, like... May, may as well just hit LP to 1, too. I mean, if you say that, like, oh, VFD to 1 makes no sense. If VFD's still at 1, they still summon VFD, and you still lose to VFD. So how? what's the difference of it being at 1 or 2? Like, there's almost no difference, besides, like, if you have a nib in hand, that can make a difference, but... I, I don't think VFD should be in the game. The card's actually just been horrible since it came out. It's not like it just started being used in Virtual World. Like, Eldest Synchro played the card for, like, four months, five months. Uh, some Dragon Link players were playing it. I, I think VFD just needs to go. I think it should have left the last list. So hopefully it goes this list. Uh, but with that all being said, I'm going to guess how long this video was. I'm going to go with 19 minutes, 19 seconds. And with that being said, the DB Grinder is signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Also, I'll be live streaming uh, probably not too long after this video comes up. Peace.